Welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 184. I am Neil. I am Annalise. What are you deleting? I was uh, closing everything on my phone. Frantically phoning. So I know, was closing everything out. My phone... Arrived today. Arrived today. Is so, it the size of an iPad? I have not <laughs> opened it. Since Do it, we baby. Were... Nice. Guess <laughs> what's back in action? <laughs> All right, well, go ahead and talk about that since... Oh, yeah? You sure? Did I cut you yeah, off? Yes, it's right now. Because last week we were saying how it was since dead. Since I cut you off? Um, so last week we talked about how my iPad may or may not be dying because it won't charge and it won't hold battery life, blah, 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 blah. So Wait, may or might? I'm pretty sure last week you said your iPad was yeah, dead and dying the world was slow, over. Yeah, horrible death. Yeah. And um, so uh, Neil reset it to factory settings. Is that, so is that called a hard reset? What is that? I did a whole factory. We, we we deleted the whole thing and started all over. Yeah, started fresh. And that worked, and it's holding strong, so that is awesome. Now I only have like four apps on it now, but <laughs> we do have this one. Do it, baby. So there you it's go. back. <laughs> that is back in action. Not that we've used it a lot. Yeah, so. And I can watch it and use it without it being hooked up to power for a significant amount of time. It was pretty impressive. Super happy. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, good. You, you know, what were you going to say? I was going to say, I haven't tried to like reload Kindle yet and all of that, but I'm sure I downloaded it and I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. It's going to be so great. It's going to be awesome. Everything is so nice. Everything is nice. <laughs> right. So your iPad is, but you didn't have to buy a new nope, iPad. We're good. We're good. Solid. Solid. See how long that lasts. <laughs> Hopefully another but year. It, but I would, I would really love to eke another year out of it. It's surprisingly working really well yeah, it's and great. much faster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what was on there before, but... Who knows? I did have, like, a couple of games and stuff I never played anymore and things like that, so maybe it was slowing it down. I'm not sure. I'm thinking, too... Well, you know, you never know. With some of the updates, who knows? But whatever. It's working. Yeah. But my phone arrived, Mm -hmm. although I won't actually see it until Sunday Mm -hmm. because we're going to uh, record... Vlog it. Yeah. (laughs) It's so funny because it was like... You know, it's like we talk about the dogs all the time. And it's like, oh, we know you get tired of hearing about the dogs. But now people are probably like, we'd rather hear about the dogs. Right. I'm sure. We get that you have a vlog. Yeah. But we are going to record it for yeah. the vlog for fun. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the phone and a little I nervous. I have actually not seen the phone itself. Like, I, like, you know how like the whole Apple thing, like I, I haven't even on the internet seen the phone. Nor I have, have I. Seriously? You didn't? Mm-hmm. What? Nope. You ordered it without looking at it. Well, I figured it's a phone. But you ordered it on the website and you saw it on the website. I ordered it through AT&T. I didn't order it through oh, Apple. that is crazy town. Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen it. Oh I have no God. idea. And to be perfectly honest, I forget what color I got. I know I didn't get gold, but oh, I don't know what color the phone geez, is. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Although that might have something to do with my brain. Um, You need to keep talking because my um, iPad keeps Just going died. to sleep. No, it keeps going to sleep. And so I think it has this setting on there that the screen goes to sleep after like 30 seconds or right. something. I'm like, oh, hold on. That's, that is too much. That is not okay. So, but, right. So the, I don't know what I was, why did I even bring up my phone? Cause you, cause last week you said you ordered it and that you have already gotten it. So that's really cool. Right. But we're not going to really. And did I say last week about my case? Yes. The case that I ordered? The purple. Okay. Or, yeah. Cause purple it was on sale pink. or something. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which I'm excited about. Yes. 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 And so your iPad is now working. And the big thing today was when we were, you have to go to settings. Yeah. I'm in settings. All I'm right. looking for, is it under screen? What's under I display? Probably. Sure. I get we could probably do this later. I know, but it keeps going to sleep, and then I keep having to wake it up, so I can't use it for the podcast if it keeps going to sleep. But you never use it anyway. I'm gonna use it. God damn it! Well, I don't even right. know where this app is now. What is happening? Did you find out how to shut it off? Do it. Oh. Do it, yeah. No. Yeah, you just mm-hmm. it played. I know, but I had to go back into it. So all right. Well, you while just, Annalise you just keep does talking. that, you just I got the keep iPhone eight plus, and I haven't looked at it. And I'm a, kind of I'm excited to look at it, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous because I know the new operating system is out, and you know it's going to be a little different. And then We're I've got to relearn it, and then it's going to be huge. I, oh, I don't. Did I talk about on the podcast last time about how I had a little bit of buyer's remorse? No, no, you didn't. That was later because we went downtown. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, Just was, to it me. was no, no. It was at it was at napkins. Was oh, it okay? So we were so we ordered the phone. No, we were we. I ordered the phone. We recorded the podcast, and then we went out. Yeah, right. And Pretty so <laughs> while I was out, I gotta check to see if that's recording. Yeah. Um, while we were out, I'm like looking at my phone, which is the six, not this. 
well, they didn't have a six plus, but the six. And all of a sudden I realized like, oh my God, the new phone's going to be huge. Yeah. And I won't, I don't know if I can fit it in my pockets and stuff. So I was wondering about that. Have a little buyer's remorse because because I have to have a big case on it because I take it to work and I have to have a case because it does drop. and Right. So it's going to be huge. And I like, for me, we talked about how I feel like the six is really my maximum. Like, like I would like actually five. prefer it to be smaller right. yeah, because I have little girl pants and this barely fits in my pants and it actually sticks out like at least a third, almost a half way out of my pants. And like, I'm so scared of losing it. Like it's fallen out of my pants before. You're on that thing so much. I don't think it, you'd go more than five Now I just minutes. hold it in my hand because I'm so scared to lose it. Right. So. Just put it down your pants next to your... Girly bits. No. Why not? It causes cancer. <laughs> Girly bit cancer? I don't Great. Know. I'm going to get chest cancer now. Yeah. Because well. I wear mine on my... Yep, you do. <laughs> Lovely. Maybe you need some more layers of aluminum foil. <laughs> <laughs> some more? You make it sound like I have some. What do you mean some more? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Oh, that just sounds funny. Uh, want to thank everybody for listening. Very much appreciate it. Want to thank the support on the vlog. I know we talk about it a lot, but we're going to, so fucking deal with it. Um, <laughs> it's what's going we, on in our lives, so we're going to talk about it. We very much uh, appreciate it. You can go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. <gasps> nice. And check stuff out. Yeah. If you'd like. We appreciate it. Uh, I did something really annoying on Uh-oh. there. So well, why you, do you tell people? Now they're not going to go. I know. But if you, <laughs> if you go. You're way too honest on this podcast. I know. If you go, <laughs> our YouTube commercial will start playing automatically, which <sighs> fries the tree out of me. But then I, I heard. I that when I go to websites. I heard this thing that says that it works. Well, and ours is really short. So you probably watch the, end up watching the My whole thing by the time you figure out how to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so Sorry, you're welcome. For and that. you're welcome. So go to the <laughs> go to the page just for fun. And just also while you're there, hit the Amazon link and buy stuff off Amazon and it gives us a kickback. Mm, I don't <laughs> care if you do that actually. I just want you to go there. I like it. I want to retire However, someday. <laughs> we do have a contest going on on our oh, website. Oh, that's right. So you go to the website. That's right. We haven't no one's won the contest yet. And if you go to the website and on the upper right hand okay. corner, uh, there is a contest going on, which is kind of funny. It's this new thing we're kind of trying. We're not sure if it's going to work. Uh, tell us what you think. It, it's kind of cheesy, but it might. I don't know. Anyway, go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com yeah. or dapfpod.com. All, all of those. There all you go. Them. They all work. But we very much appreciate all the support. We very much appreciate all. There's been so many friends we've made through podcasting who's been supporting the vlog, and that's pretty it's much. so cool. Yeah. We know that building an audience for a vlog is going to be really tough, especially since we're like 25 years over the age of, of what we vloggers? should be. Yeah. <laughs> um, but even though we don't have a ton of views right now on our videos, it's really cool that our friends are supporting us. Yeah. And it's kind of neat because every week we get a couple people that we don't know that are actually fans of vlogs that, you know, yeah. find us and, and, it, and we'll As see well, where it goes. We're going to give it a year. It's really we'll give cool it a year. that our friends have been watching and people that we know have reached out and said that they think it's cool and all of that, which is huge because like I was saying before, like we have friends that listen to the podcast and stuff, but I also have friends who I always jokingly say told me they just don't get it. I don't know why I do this. But, um, but then on the other side of that, like it's so cool when someone you know and trust and respect and like their opinions reaches out and says, hey, this thing you're doing is pretty cool. And I'm like, that is rad. Thank yeah. you so much for saying so. Uh, anyway, yes. Just, thank you is all I'm saying. I know. I agree. Thank you very much. I was going to say something and I lost my train of thought. Sorry. No. <laughs> the, our dog, Nine, is coming in and out with her bone chewing. And it's, it's a little distracting. <laughs> That's, uh, but yeah, so uh, I don't know. I wanted to say something. Was about it vlog related? It was about your I, phone? You want to talk no, about no, your phone no. some more? No, it was kind of. Did you get the gold one and just not tell me? No, no. <laughs> not get gold. <laughs> do you get some bling and you didn't say it? <laughs> well, I'll get bling, but I can't I can't do gold. With my skin color, it just doesn't I prefer work. silver. I agree. Um looks it was, better on my skin tone. Uh, I'll, it'll it'll All come right, to it'll me pop later. in. But anyway, it Let's... was it was something about I but I did want to say uh, thank you and, again and it it does mean a lot and uh we'll see where it goes. We'll give it a year. Um since we're on the vlog oh, conversation, no, 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 it's not going to be that. It's going to be our lost footage into your parents' conversation. Oh, about my parents. So it's going to be, uh, we um, hung out with your parents last weekend for a little bit before we went to this other thing that we're going to talk about as well. Right. One of our good, really good, good friends got married and, yes. and uh, he's, a, we've talked about him before, Corey. Course, so he's yeah. originally from Kentucky, then moved out here. 
uh, got a job at Lucas, not Lucas, at Skywalk Ranch, and fell in love, met somebody, and then decided that he wanted to move back to Kentucky, so they moved back to Kentucky. But mm-hmm. then the cool thing is they got married. And, and her came, family lives here. Yeah, so they came so, back out here to get yeah. married. So uh, the wedding was near my parents' house in mm-hmm. the town my parents live, which is San Rafael. And they, well, they actually live in Terra Linda, which is part of San Rafael. And so we went down there. So on our way, my mom purchased two fire sticks, mm-hmm. Amazon fire sticks. And she per need, your recommendation, I right. believe. Yes. She needed, she, she wanted to watch Amazon because she has Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. They don't have smart TVs because my dad wanted to save money when they bought TVs. Like, why do I need a goddamn smart TV? Which is hilarious because that TV is on constantly. It's not. Right. It's not always watching but, TV, but he's streaming music off that TV like twenty four seven. But remember when they bought it? It was like, well, this it, these are the same TVs, but this one costs a hundred dollars more. And I'm right. like, oh, because that one's a smart TV, which means you can hook it up to the internet. And he was like. Mm-hmm. Who needs that? I don't that? need it to talk to the internet. Right. I'm like, all right. You totally do, though. You but totally now he do. does. <laughs> so, although I guess in his defense, the fire stick's only 39 bucks, so they saved money. <laughs> he, he wins this round yeah. so far, so far. So, and it's been like two years since Which is so this funny because I've told this so. story to so many people, and they're like, oh, your dad's funny. And now in my head, I'm like, oh, no, he actually he did made the right choice. Anyway, so my mom wants to watch uh, Transgender was actually the big Mm-hmm. Show she wanted to watch, and Your then I told so her cool. I told her about one Mississippi, <laughs> one Mississippi, or did you one, just it's one Mississippi. Is it one yeah. Mississippi? Oh, that, and love that show. Yeah. And season two's out. I know we need to watch um, it. It's, so I, she wanted to I watch that. I surprisingly love that show. Like when we talked about watching it, I was like, okay. This well, I'm is such a, a Tig Notaro like fan. I know. I remember when we met, I talked about Tig Notaro, and you were like, I don't what know what the you're hell's talking a about Tig? Right. <laughs> I didn't know who she was, and well, now what's funny I'm is you thought it was a guy. You're like, is that a musician? And I'm like, yeah. no, it's it's a. Well, it sounds like a musician's girl. name, doesn't Tignata- it? For sure, yeah, for sure, she's a rock star. Plays guitar, like nine inch star. nails, Tig <laughs> Um So went to my parents' house before the wedding to hook up their fire sticks. However, I could only hook up one. But we brought our cameras down to record because, because they're freaking hilarious. Are hilarious. If Absolutely. you heard the they're podcast, they're so endearing and ridiculous at the same time. The po- I love them. The podcast they were on <laughs> is one of our most popular podcasts. Yeah, Diva Dad, the Diva Dad episode <laughs> by like thousands of downloads. It's right. hilarious. Um, However, so, <laughs> so we went down there, and as soon as the cameras went on, both of them this time just on point, on just turn, point, and it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> And then, so we recorded that, was able to hook up one of the fire sticks. And it was like an hour and a half of footage or something like we, that. We changed. We went to the wedding. We recorded a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a good then, day. Was yeah, great day. Sunday was great. And then yeah. I, so, okay, so I, I'm all Let's over get the into place. It. Get into it. <laughs> so with we'll, this new. Uh, I was going to say, we'll come back to the wedding, but we're going to talk right. about. So with this new vlogging and everything, it's been a huge learning experience for me. And I've taken a lot of information in. It's been, with my brain damage, it's been overloading my brain a little bit, and it's been causing me anxiety, and it's been causing my brain to just kind of short circuit a bit, and it's been... You've slept like four hours this week. I don't know what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, it's been really tough. <laughs> yeah. So Sunday, we went to the wedding and came back, and I didn't sleep at all Sunday night, and mm-hmm. Monday, I woke up, and my body just didn't work. I right. was just shut down, and I could tell like I was having a quote-unquote episode. My brain was just fried, and I'm like, I can't... Right. I couldn't... I could not... I went in, uh, no, my alarm went off, and I did not remember that my phone was my alarm. I kept trying to shut off an alarm clock that I haven't had in, what, two years? Right. And so I'm just like, I am i can't, I'm done. I'm cooked. So I didn't go to to work that day. on yeah. Monday, um, which was really weird because it's weird because I didn't feel sick as far as ill. I yeah, just, your body just tells you when you're done. My brain was yeah. like, "Dude, you're we're we need, having uh, like we the, need we need to take a break." The really bad break. the really bad smells came back. I was super dizzy. I I couldn't. I was agitated. I couldn't. <clears throat> I couldn't freaking deal with life. And I'm like, and then I get afraid because I'm like, "Oh, is this how it's going to be for the rest of my life? Like, is this like did it finally click and I'm done? Like I'm my, so it sucked anyway." The one thing I that actually helped, which I was surprised, was I was able to sit at the computer and play with some of our videos. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when I did that, I went back and looked at the footage, and there was no audio to any of it. <laughs> None of it. None of it. None of the stuff of my parents, right. which was freaking hilarious. Right. None of the wedding of which I wanted to give to, to our Corey. friends. Yeah. 
Um, nothing. Right. And nothing. And so I did a little research and found out what the problem is. And as much as I love GoPros, fuck you, GoPro. Well, what's really funny is we let were people so, know that there's a glitch. In we that were system. so happy when you figured out the uh, fast start button mm-hmm. that you can just hit the record button and it turns it on and starts recording instantly. But what we didn't know is when you have an external mic, it doesn't always work. But GoPro knew and they didn't tell anybody. Yeah. So it's, again, I still love GoPro. They're yeah, freaking amazing. For sure. But but we wish we knew that before because we were like we were so like oh so cool there's a fast start one well, button a lot recording of the, this is gonna be so great and that's our what last we kept vlog using. the Napa drinking vlog had yeah. a bunch of other stuff but it's that not we usable. didn't use right yeah so yeah anyway so, so we lost all of that all of that but the funny one of the funny parts is today which is Friday we're recording on a Friday night. Is I on the way home? I had to set up the second fire stick for my right. parents. So you went over your parents today. Yeah. Went over to my parents' house. Didn't take a camera, but I walked in. Um, I set up the fire stick. My dad was busy doing retired right. guy stuff, and so <laughs> when I was all done, I walked in around the, the pool. Yeah, I was, walked into the kitchen, <laughs> dining area, and they were both in there. And they said, "So how about the video?" And I'm like, "What video?" And they're like, the, "How about our video?" About the video that you shot of us. You know, are you going to? Dad needs you to know. Use it? <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, the, the, it sucks because there was no audio. And the look on both of their faces was like, what do you, what do you mean? And I'm like, I can't, I can't use it. There's no audio. There's none of our voices on there. So bummed out. They were so bummed out. Wow. They were like, oh, Because so we were, we're bummed, not, but they're even more bummed than We're not going to be on we the video? And I'm like, no. We're get, <laughs> we uh, lost you know, we'll two else. videos on that, and you guys are bummed. <laughs> and they were so <laughs> upset. It was great. So there's these two 70-year-old my parents right. that are like, oh. So we're not going to be on your YouTube channel? You're like, well, you're going to come back and record again, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So please look funny. forward to some episodes in the Diva Dad trilogy. It's insane. <laughs> I do want to say, though. Uh, That's too funny. And there's as far such as, good sports. As far as the such video, <laughs> it's helped me. I've lost some weight. Which is awesome. My there's dad's n- lost a ton of weight, which yes, is great. Yeah, I mean, like, there's nothing as we keep talking about. There's nothing to put you on the right path for uh, taking care of yourself is uh, watching videos of yourself. Mm-hmm. Nothing like it. It's amazing. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. Like, it looks a today mess. in it general looks really good right on the now. video. Like, I'm like, what is my hair doing? I can tell you what's going on because I'm a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, you do too much to it. What do you mean? You do. You try to style it too much. You're over. But it's frizzy. Otherwise, I have because frizzy you're, oh, helmet head. Because you fry the crap out of it. You don't need to use that much heat on your hair. I'm just saying. No one ever does. No, nobody gets it. God damn it! Listen to your well, hairdresser. Well, then you should just do my hair before we go out, then, because I no, because it looks then you terrible. Don't, I, I I've suggested, it. and then you're like, you think it's too flat, or it's too this or too that, and it looks awesome. Mm. So, <laughs> just telling you. All right. Um. So what your parents. Right. So your parents are good to go. Like they're watching TV when you left or what? Oh, yeah. They're, both of their sticks are hooked up. The only thing I have to do is I brought the wrong computer down, so I have to bring the other computer when we get Because we used to take my computer. To program But you took the your remote. computer. I took, I took my Chromebook, which doesn't program shit. Right. So you need to take my laptop. Or this one. Or mine. Because, right. Because, oh, right. Because my old one was the one you used to take. Okay. It's mine. It's not your old one. It's mine. Sorry. All right. Jeez, God damn it. Please. Jesus. No, 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 no. Give it, give it, give it. That's annoying. Just play the whole thing. Give it to me, selector. Yeah. Jeez. I just like that it's back. I so want to play it's more. It's always been there. We. Well, I know, oh but I'm, I didn't. I kept forgetting to use it while we had it, and now when it went away, I missed it. So I'm happy about it being back. <sighs> so many things. Yes. So, so I have to go reprogram my parents' remote control. Yes. <laughs> Um, and we'll get some episodes of Diva Dad as soon as possible, just so you guys mm-hmm. know. <laughs> Should we make a playlist, the Diva Dad playlist? Might have to. <laughs> we might have to. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the oh thing. Oh my that gosh, that's gonna be the the, the thing that makes us. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Anyway, um, so should we talk about the wedding a little bit since we're on the whole topic? I guess. So our friends got married on Sunday. That's and... all you need to know. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was funny. Um, they had a <laughs> really cool serious. like picture setup thing that uses like an app on their iPad. 
Oh, you this thing is amazing, and did I for, I should gotta that? find the name of it. It's like but a it's like fifty something. bucks or something like that. And it's basically photo booth style pictures using an app and your iPad, and you put your iPad on like a little um, what not a um like a tripod like a tripod. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And and it has like a little thing that has like a countdown on it or whatever. And it's like, you know, goes from five to one, so you know when the pictures are being taken or whatever. But it was amazing, and we and I've seen them post like pictures from it. It's so great. Like it's, I think that for weddings and events, it's absolutely worth like the fifty dollars for the app because then you have that forever too, so you can use it over and over again. But um, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, anyway, so the pictures that I've been seeing is so great, and what a cool idea because that's probably cheaper than renting like a photo booth. Oh, from it's the, so much cheaper, and yeah. then you have it again. You have it forever, and you can just digitally send those pictures to your friends and stuff. So cool. So. so- Flippin' cool. So the cool thing about this, I'll I'll, tr- uh, I'll try to find which one they use. There's there's a whole bunch. Oh, uh, I think you. it's Simple Booth Event Edition. I think that's what it is. <laughs> we'll so figure anyway, it out. we'll figure so it out. So you, you but... do need to have Wi-Fi because yeah. that helps. So you set up your iPad on and, a little tripod thing. on a little tripod, and obviously you have the camera facing. Right. And so you touch the screen, and it counts down five, four, three, two, one. It takes four pictures, mm-hmm. and it lets you know. And so you can see yourself as you're taking the picture. Right. Then when you're done, you enter your phone number and it sends you a text to the link of those pictures. Right. And then whosoever iPad it is or whoever's event it is has access to all the pictures. Right. And for 50 freaking dollars, right. you set up a cheap backdrop. It was amazing. It was yeah. so it much was fun. Super cool. Super cool. I didn't get any of the pictures that I took, but I saw that he posted the pictures of you. Yeah. And but I, have I haven't seen any of us. the pictures of me, so I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but it's, I mean, for if you're doing like a really cool party or obviously a wedding birth, but birthday, but anything, parties, it I can mean, just be, it yeah. just be a party. It could just yeah. be like, I mean, you, once you buy the app, you have, you have it, it forever. Yeah. So cool. And so you can set it up. I mean, you could even do it while you're out. That, you can set up like the so iPad. That so much fun. I yeah. mean, it was, it, oh my God. we're going to definitely take advantage of, yeah, for sure. of doing the it. The next but party. What is that dog doing? Chasing a fly or a spider or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 90s here freaking out. I'm like, I don't understand what she's doing. And you need but, the Wi-Fi, so obviously you can send right. um, pictures think, to people. Yeah. And I assume. I'll have to I'll have to ask him the one he used, but there's there's a bunch, but it was it was so cool. Yeah, if you guys are interested, we'll figure out what the the name of it is or whatever that he used because we know that that one works really well. So yeah, I want to say it was Simple Booth Event Edition. <laughs> you could just text him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, um, anyway, so again, um, super cool wedding, and um, should I tell? I want to tell the. Um, no, I'm not gonna tell that story, but. Um, my mom just texted and said she's watching One Mississippi and she loves it. Oh, that's awesome. That's super awesome. Um, I was going to say the place that they got married at, we've also been to a huge, huge Halloween party at. And um, they have that Halloween party every year. And there's another one coming up this year. We probably won't go to that one because it's, it's a little pricey. It was? It, it's like 28 bucks this year or something. Oh, I didn't think we paid to go last time. We didn't pay to go last oh, time. Okay. Which is why twenty eight dollars a piece is pricey because we didn't pay last time. <laughs> but um, anyway, because you guys played at the event, so that's why you didn't pay last time because you were. Oh, I was thinking of the. I'm sorry. I, I guess I missed something. I was thinking of the Halloween thing we went to here in Napa. Oh no no no! So the thing. Oh huh? that so, yeah, yeah yeah. So at the event that we went to for the wedding. Right. But so it's this really cool old house. It's called Simple Booth Event Edition. I just texted Corey. Okay, cool. There you guys go. So you should get that for all your parties, and they have it forever. It's super cool, super rad, super fun. Um, So we went to this one, so this place where they had their wedding, um, and I didn't realize that we'd been there. Well, obviously, I realized we'd been there before for the Halloween party, and that was super cool. But in my head, I was thinking they were going to have the wedding inside this huge, like, mansion where we went to this party. And I was like... But it's it's kind of an older, run-down... Mansion. It's great yeah, no, for it's, a Halloween you, oh, party. Oh, it is super. It is super cool. But it's, it's such it's a cool not, place. It's not mansiony as far as like. Well, so in my head, I was thinking like, I wonder where they're gonna get married. Like, mm-hmm. are they gonna get married on the front porch? Like, oh, oh, you know what? She's probably gonna come down the stairs. Wait a minute. There's that whole area down at the bottom of the stairs, so she'd have to come down the stairs and come into another room because that's not big enough. So in my head, I was like, wow, I wonder how they're gonna work that out. But then when we got there, it's the Elks Lodge in Santa Fe. Right. So Kinda when we got there. 
the house is to the right, and there's this other area to the left that I've never All been All the boxes into. of your stuff is to the left, to the left? To the left, to the left. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said wedding and with an arrow, like Corey. So, and we followed like the sound of people talking and stuff like that. So we went to the left instead of going to the house. And it was actually this really beautiful like garden, garden um, patio trimmed in mag- huge magnolia trees with two beautiful fountains and stuff. And we're like, oh, this makes so much more sense. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just, anyway, it was really funny because in my head, I kept thinking the whole time, what are you taking a picture of? Um, for Corey. Because we're podcasting. Hi, yeah, Corey. because I told him. <laughs> but um, so anyway, it was really cool. It was really nice and really beautiful and really sweet and all of that. But like in my head before, I was like, how are they going to get married in this weird old house? But they didn't. So it doesn't make No, it, it <laughs> was really nice. <laughs> it, was a, it was a really cool, cool yeah. wedding. It, and was it was a cool, low-key, relaxed, yet nice wedding. And congratulations to our friends. Uh, yeah. And, and it was it was... It was one of those weddings where you go to and it comes across as extremely elegant but and simple. extremely, uh, I almost want to say expensive, but when you know the people that get married, you're like, you realize like everything they could do right to make it look over the top, mm-hmm. they did. And at the same time, you realize like, oh, they did it the smart way. Like this yeah. photo booth thing it was the freaking hit. Everyone was like... Yeah. This is amazing. And everybody talks about how beautiful the uh, surroundings were. And it was just, that's the the spot. That's just the way it looks all the time. They did a great job. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to talk about your friend uh, using the photo booth to get her pot cart? We don't have to give names. (laughs) No names are necessary. But I thought that was hilarious. So I have a good friend who um, needed a picture for her uh, pot cart, as Neil just said. and um, Cannabis. if you will. And um, they only take certain... It's almost like passport there's photos. Like, yeah. There's like a parameters that must... Um, wow. She's... Our dog is freaking out with a fly. Squirrel girl. <laughs> she's freaking out. I don't um, know if it's a fly. I, don't I think th- it is. I think it is. <laughs> All right. Anyway, anyway, go on. So um, so there's like parameters that you have to, um, you know, follow for these pictures for mm-hmm. your... Um, not only passports, but these cannabis cards and things like that. And for whatever reason, she was like, oh, this one will work. And my hair is did and my makeup is all did. And so I'm going to use these pictures. And so she um, took a whole bunch of pictures. <laughs> so, and then she uh, obviously texted them to herself. And so that's going to be the picture on her new cannabis card. I think it's hilarious. Great. And perfect. She's like, since we're here... And this photo booth app is here. I'm just going to be over here for a few minutes taking like 20 pictures of myself, if that's cool with everybody. Pre- pretty epic. Yeah. It was hilarious. <laughs> pretty And epic. well done. And the pictures came out great. And that will be her new card. Uh, you want to do this? Brilliant. Real quick? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Here's your weather report. Napa Valley, 70, uh, it's Friday evening, uh, 74 degrees outside, 46% humidity, 73 degrees inside, 37% humidity. Uh, wind is blowing out of the southeast at eight miles an hour. I forgot to write down the barometer, so we don't know. The but barometer? It, yeah, the barometer, but it's clear. It's a very nice day. It's beautiful. It's, it's been a great so day. so windy, and I'm happy it's not windy today. For the first day of autumn. autumn. Also right. want to say for tomorrow, want to wish uh, Heno, Ida Heno, a very happy birthday. Oh, tomorrow's birthday? No. Seriously. Seriously, but every day on September 23rd, I wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> Did you get it wrong once? I be- no, I believe it's his sister's <laughs> birthday, but it's something I've always done. That's so hilarious. if if anybody who knows Heno or go to at I D A H E N N O and wish Heno a happy birthday on September 23rd, That's I'd very hilarious. much appreciate it. All right. <laughs> Um, let's talk about downtown and then I'm going to tell you about a song that's been stuck in my head for about two weeks. Tell me about the song first. Are you sure? Let's talk about downtown. Yeah. Are you super sure? Yep. All right. I'm not too thrilled about talking about downtown. Why not? I don't know. But it's epic. Because we got a vlog really about it. Really cool. Uh, what? Oh, well, you got to no, go watch ahead. the vlog. No, I'm joking. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, I have had the song stuck in my head for, as I just said, for like two weeks. Can and I guess the song? You won't guess it. Is it a White Lion song? 
It's not a white lion song. It's, it's not when the children cry. I think I'm you know who that is? I don't know who I don't know who that band is. I and Amy. I think, can, so I have a really guitar? good girlfriend. Her it. name is Amy, and she went to her second rock camp this past weekend. And her teacher and instructor. Why doesn't she just come over here? I can give her rock camp for free. <laughs> I will. I will let her know. I can I give her, her hard know. rock camp for twenty bucks. Wow, easy turbo. <laughs> um, and her instructor was a member of White Lion, and I was like, "Oh, the I, don't drummer, know who White I, think. I don't know who White Lion is." And she what? was, and she was like, Wait, "Oh, you know." And I'm like, "I have no idea what you're talking about." Before our love will die, because I must know the reason why you say goodbye. So wait just a moment and tell me why. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. How about now. when the children cry? Uh, mm, no. Nope. My... Oh, my I'm God. Getting my <laughs> so we're going off rails. So, um, hey, Amy, it. how's it going? But um, so she had a great, amazing weekend. And she apparently she had to sing with Sebastian Bach. Seba- what was his name? Sebastian Bach. Sebastian Bach. And she said it was super embarrassing. And she basically said she was just reliving the 80s up in there this weekend. So. <laughs> But um, so I've had a song from an old TV, uh, no, I'm sorry, an old movie that was a musical, and it is Bye Bye Birdie. Have you ever seen Bye Bye Birdie with Anne Margaret? No, Sounds familiar? I'm not wow. So welcome to Music Hour with Neil and White Lion. Should I just uh, take a break while you. Know. No, but it's something like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Dan, 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 Dan. You're scaring Zero. Zero's fine. <laughs> he just left. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. Come here, buddy. Um, so, <clears throat> four so, and a half years. It took four and a half years for him not to leave when I played guitar. Well, he did go out the door and just stand at the door. Well, so. that's because <laughs> I slammed the guitar on the ground. Yeah. Um, so, Bye Bye Birdie is musical, clearly. and um, How is that clear? Because why would bye there bye be birdie. songs from bye it? Bye bye birdie it could be a, a target for a shooting range. No, not with songs that I would keep in my head because I wouldn't watch that movie. All right. So anyway, so this is the song that's stuck in your head. Yeah. It's bye bye birdie. Well, it's actually. Um... Did you text Alana? No, <laughs> I should though. You, should. <laughs> you guys check out a uh, little known facts from Alana Levine podcast. Oh she loves God. musical. Now we're just becoming a pimp. I know. I'm a pimp magnet. What weird? You... So. Um, one of my favorite musicals, mm-hmm. and I don't have a lot of favorite musicals to be completely honest with you, is Bye Bye Birdie. Of, okay. And was that on your list when we did it? It may have been. I don't remember. Seven Brothers up, for Seven Sisters. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is my favorite musical. Vic, or it's either Victor Victoria. What are you gonna? So anyway, it's a uh, Love You Conrad. You want me to sing it to you? Yes. Are you oh. ready? Do you know the chords? I'll play along. I don't know the chords. Right, Why, how would I know that? I don't know that. I don't know. You could, look, you could have looked it up. You could have been prepared. Wow. Wow. All right. Let's hear it. <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for it. I'm ready. <laughs> um, so it's about these teenage girls who are super infatuated with this like um, kind of like Elvis-esque singer or whatever. Gotta and then later the on, they realize he's just kind of a jerk. I don't care. But anyway, his name's Conrad. Conrad. <laughs> Conrad. All right. Let's hear it. So <clears throat> if you will. And what's the name of the song? I love you, Conrad. Oh, that works. <laughs> I love you, Conrad. Oh, yes, I do. I love you, Conrad, and I'll be true. When you're not near me, I'm blue. Oh, Conrad, we love you. And I don't know That's why. It's creepy. It's super fucking creepy, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's usually in the plural, so it's usually, we love you, Conrad. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so and what's the name of the song? I love you, Conrad. It's not We Love You, Conrad. It might be. <laughs> That's good. What's the name of the song? I think it's Love You, Conrad, but okay. I don't know. Anyway, and then there's the title song by My Birdie, sung by Anne Margaret, which is like this whole weird, like, sung with emphasis song. Mm-hmm. Like, bye, bye, party. It's so weird. <laughs> anyway, but that's how she sings it. But and anyway. that's Drew Barrymore? Anne Margaret. Stop it. God. <laughs> Anyway. All right, let's see. So it's We Love You, Conrad. We love you, Conrad. Oh, yes, we do. Do you know that? 
Huh? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to find. We love you, Conrad, and we'll be true. All when right, you're let's not see here. near us, we're blue. <laughs> oh, Conrad, we love you. That's so creepy sounding. It's really fucking creepy. It gets worse. Don't worry. <laughs> it's going to get worse. <laughs> How does it get worse? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So I have been singing that in my head for like the last two weeks, and I can't get it out. It needs to stop. I haven't right. seen that movie in like 10 years. Don't sing it. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> it's never going to get out. Stop it. <laughs> Let's do our favorite vibe and go no, eat. <laughs> no, you know what I was I was thinking about was the, uh, um, because you were talking about Sebastian Bach. Uh-huh. So we were talking about the Skid Row song like, We spent the summer with the top rolled down. I forget the lyrics though. What band was he from? I, uh, Skid Row. Skid Row. You just said that, sorry. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. You know what needs to happen is you and Amy need to hang out. Because Amy will be like, oh, you know, so-and-so from White Line. I'm like, dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Do you know Do you know Bauhaus? Because I could talk to you about Peter Murphy I, all I know, day. I know Bauhaus. But Amy doesn't. So what I'm saying is, is you and Amy need to hang out. Because <laughs> well, I we can do rock camp. don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, we can do rock camp. You could. Wouldn't that be Do fair? you need to go to rock camp? I don't think you need to go to rock no. camp, though. You got it all dialed in. Remember yesterday walking hand in hand. Remember yesterday. Loving. All right. No. Let's do here at five and then go eat. No, we Because st- I got to ha- pee. Honey, then you have to go pee. We're, we're not hardly into the show. What? Yeah. I figure five will take 20 minutes. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> no. Do you need to go pee? I can I stop the show. <laughs> I can talk while you, you go. You talk about going day drinking. Oh, shit. No. Pie. I'm not going to talk about that because we've... we've... No, because we had some really good cocktails and we might have the cocktail vendor on our podcast. Yeah, I understand that. Cocktail vendor. What do you call him? Um, <laughs> but we had What's a whole blog about it. No, we're not going to talk. We're not going to talk. You go ahead. I'll... We're not Woke pimping the vlog. The we're talking about how we went out for a day and and had a good time. Wind would whisper and I Was has think nothing to do with Skid Row. This does. And all the tears you cried right. that call you guys, my name. I'm gonna listen to Skid Row while I go to the bathroom. When you needed me, I came through. Oh, she's actually going pee. Well, we have we haven't even recorded that long, and you're going pee. She's mailing it in to the podcast now that we have the vlog. This is insane. I don't know what she's doing. This is crazy. Although I did want to say, this is, oh, let me pull up the microphone again. I did want to say, we've been doing the podcast now for, what, like three and a half years? And it's been freaking amazing. I also realize I say freaking a lot. It's been amazing. We've had a great time. But for a while there, it was getting a little, I don't know. I don't want to say it was getting bored with it, but... I, I, I don't know. I guess I, I lost a little bit of my interest in podcasting as the time went on. But I enjoyed spending the time with Annalise, and I enjoyed talking to you guys about, like, how our week was. But as it came time to record, I, I don't know. It was just more of a wait than it was a fun. And then we started the vlog, which is a lot of fun, but it kind of rejuvenated me into the podcast. Like, I just feel safe and comfortable and happy doing the podcast. I feel like I can just be myself and do whatever. And it's a lot of fun. So I'm I'm really happy to be very much back into it. So this will be our last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Yeah. I don't know what heart to heart you guys had where we're gone, but it got really deep just, really fast. <laughs> it wasn't deep. I was just saying how it was um, like we've been podcasting for a while. And it, it, I, I don't want to say it was getting burnt out, but it was just, I don't know. There was something about the podcast. And then the vlog came, and now I just feel good. I, I don't know why I said it while you were gone, if I was going to repeat myself. So, <laughs> Well, I had to pee. Do you want to talk about our this thing real quick? Uh, oh, yeah. And this is really cool. And then we'll get really into cool. our favorite five, since you need to go, apparently. So you're not going to mention day drinking? No. We Fuck. have a whole podcast about God. it. God damn it. We went out the other day downtown. We, know we, we had a lot. vlog about it. We haven't talked about it on the podcast. Whatever. We went out Did you staple downtown. this to the desk? Just this side, yes. So it does because I figured otherwise you'd pull the whole thing off. We went out last weekend. We had a really good time downtown. We recorded a vlog about it. Go to YouTube channel. Well, no, I just thought it was really cool that we met someone from Napa and all of that. No, no, no. Do you want to talk about our fun new tablecloth that we got at Target? 
Really? Is that it? <laughs> That's fine, because I'll move on. <laughs> um, we got this really cool... I guess it's a tablecloth, right? Is that That's what it's? exactly yeah. what it's called. Um, from Target. And it is has skulls on it, but they're like a whole bunch of different color skulls on a black background. And it has like that felt felt back tablecloth. It was like at the part of, part of Target that's, you know, like so they're, it was like $3? they're seasonal. Yeah, it was $3. Yeah. And it's, it's if it. you check out the it YouTube video. It's so hi. adorable. Check hi. out the YouTube video. It's You'll adorable. see it. But it it's actually really cool. I really like it. A lot. Like it's got pink and green and baby blue skulls <laughs> all over it. And lime green uh lightning strikes. But it and was anyway, I think it's really adorable bolts. and um it helps us with the sound so that way if we hit the table it doesn't reverberate. And, and all it's that. waterproof so when we spill our drinks it won't stain like also it did that's... on our Jamaican flag. Although <laughs> I didn't remove the Jamaican flag. Right. And, and you doubled it. up this, you folded it in half so it's doubled up. So anyway, it's really it's cool, cool and thank you for Which, doing that. And I love the way it looks. It's adorable. And works. I like it. All right. Let's do... Thank we'll you. do our favorite five and then we'll go. <laughs> Tonight we're going to have tuna egg salad. Maybe with the tuna this time. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. If you're lucky, you might get tuna. I, it, I've got to really be in the mood to eat canned tuna. Otherwise, it just yeah. does not work for me. <laughs> not a cat. Do you want just egg? We'll see. Last time I, I accidentally made egg only and we were like, that was really great. Although I'm still hungry because we only made half the food. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so um, I don't know how to describe tonight's favorite five, but so maybe you should because it was your idea. Favorite we- ways to eat bread. So my favorite way to eat bread is well, pretty much just eating bread. I so love all the breads of all time. A little background. Love the carbs. <laughs> on this, we um, are on a fairly carb light, if not carb free, diet. Yes. To lose weight, which is working very well. Well, we're doing a lot of stuff. And in that's general, part of it. though, we, in general, we eat fairly light on the carbs, and I know we do because we don't have a lot of bread and all that stuff. We, I mean, we don't even have bread in the house, like ever. Really? I don't agree with that whatsoever. Okay. All right. Um, but now we are making a very conscious effort to not. But we both really like bread and carbs a lot. Yeah. So I figured. It would be fun to talk about the things we miss eating <laughs> <laughs> that we don't eat. Perfect. Okay. Yes. So, however, favorite... we did do a Taco Bell stop after the wedding. We did. Yeah. Was and what, what was funny is I got like one quarter of the food I normally get, and mm-hmm. I was totally full. Yeah. Because you ate my food. Well, I well they forgot one of our items. Did and they really? Yes, they really did. All right. <laughs> and they charged us for it too. Jerks. Did anyway, they? Yeah. They did. Did you call them? Because they'll no. give you their, your money back. <clears throat> no, it's fine. No, it's it not was, fine. It was like a dollar. Should have called. Um, so anyway, do you want to go first or last? I'll go last. So I'll go first? Okay. Okay. So um, my favorite way to fifth have... Fifth favorite? Fifth favorite way to have uh, bread is toast. Mm. I love butter toast. And one of my favorite ways to have toast is actually obviously toasted with butter and peanut butter and honey. <laughs> oh, that's good. I do enjoy it. It is so delicious. And obviously, clearly, I don't have that often. But M- my fifth favorite way I like six of those. is toast. Is it really? With butter, cinnamon, and sugar. Oh, yes. Yes. Like a ton of butter you know, and with, a ton of sugar. And so that was always a treat that uh, my mom used to make for us when we were kids. And it can make wheat toast. Oh, yeah. Taste so good. Like always with wheat. You can well, buy that dense, crappy, <laughs> freaking sprout bread. and this Which I love. You add a ton of sugar. But my mom always used to give that to us as like, because we didn't do a lot of dessert at our house. Like we had either ice cream or that cinnamon sugar toast is what we used to call it. Right. And so she would make us all wheat. Wheat toast because we only ever bought wheat bread, not white bread. Because I guess we're dark. I don't know. But <laughs> well, I remember when we met in your cupboard, you had cinnamon sugar mix shake. Yeah. yeah. That you could, and I didn't know you could buy that. Yeah. And I was like, "What's this for?" And I'm like, "How oh. <laughs> lazy must you be?" Well, no, I just saw it at the grocery store and it was like two bucks. And I was like, "No, I'm getting that shit for yeah, sure." I'm just playing. Oh no, no, you saw it at the grocery store in like '87 because it was like six years past its expiration. Always. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I will eat it. It's not I think a problem. One of the one of the most interesting times was when when we moved in together, and we moved into your place, and. You had like cupboards full of food, which was funny because you didn't eat a lot. 
<laughs> and I started going through it and it was like things were expired by like eight years. And I'm like, Not, but you've only, no. no, because I said, you've only lived here for like three years. And you're like, oh no, I brought that <laughs> with me from Portland. And I'm like, you, you packed this and brought it with you. It was pretty good. Yeah. You about. had, you had the, uh, what's your favorite Halloween cereal? Count Chocula. You had Count Chocula. You had four boxes of it. I usually have Count Chocula for a couple of years before was, I throw it away. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was hilarious. And what was funny is I was pulling stuff out, and you're like, where'd you get that? I'm like, it was in your cupboard. You're like, I, did, I don't remember having that. Yeah. It was great. Well, because I didn't eat a ton. So I was like, was where'd that come from? <laughs> All right. So we're on four? Yes. Because we have the same five. Uh, correct. Toast. Right. Awesome. Four. Um, pita. Pita oh. bread. But... I will have pita bread in a sandwich form. And have you ever had a, a burger in a pita? We've done that. Yeah. And it's really good. It's really tasty. <laughs> We've so, been together I know. for a while. I keep forgetting. <laughs> no. Um, so, wow. No, stop. So I have the murder sandwich. I'll just let you finish the podcast on your own. Stop. So murder sandwich, pita bread, cucumber and mayonnaise. So like a tea sandwich, pita bread, and then burger, pita bread. Those are the three ways. Although I could pretty much never have sliced bread again if we had pita. But I love pita bread those three ways. Perfect. My number Murder four sandwich. is <laughs> bagel dog. Oh, a bagel dog. I love You know, bagel I dogs. think I've only had that like once. I used to bite the end Probably of the, and I was like my the bagel 20s. dog off and then pull of out the hot would. dog and then put mustard in. And then shove the hot dog back in. So You just wanted to play with the weenie. No, no, no. Seriously, because no, then... for reals. No, I'm being serious. No, because... for reals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. So what's your number no, three? No, come on. I was just no, kidding. No, I'm good. No. no I'm, yeah, I just no. like bagel dogs. They're good. So, but I have questions. Yes. Were they frozen? Because yeah, I, I don't think I I've like ever... bagel dogs. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if there's such a thing as a fresh bagel dog. I was going to say, I think I've only seen them frozen. I... Well, I mean, I've no. Well, I, I don't know. I've I've gotten them at delis before. Oh. But I don't. I can't imagine that they made a fresh bagel. I would imagine they're always frozen. Huh. I don't know. I don't know either. Like a fresh hot dog. Do you ever I get a it... fresh hot dog? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, huh? I well, because I guess I've only ever seen them in the frozen section, so I don't. Oh, no, at the I've grocery gotten, store. No, I've gotten bagel, bagel dogs at delis and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I ever. Had. I, I've never made. A I've never even seen. Uh huh. But they were good. That's fascinating. Anyway, that's one my third or second or fifth no. fourth favorite fourth? way. Yeah. Because mine so was now pita. You're on three. Okay. Um, is a croissant. Very nice. So I like um either a plain croissant, and I like it when it's fresh and crunchy on the outside. I don't really like old croissants because I can actually do without. If it's like a day old, then I'm fine. I don't need it. But I am. Um, I like a fresh plain croissant or a ham and cheese croissant. It always wins me over. But I know that you really like the chocolate croissants, mm-hmm. but I don't as much. I actually really prefer them savory. Um, did I tell you about the time I went to, because I... <laughs> I'm a fan of tea, like going to tea, like afternoon tea. I love tea. And we talked about the fact that you have gone to a, a nice tea like in the many, city before, right? Yes, and there's a really nice one in Benicia down the street here, actually, too. I've never. Well, I've never by gone. Merritt Island. Anyway. I went to a fancy tea once in England, but that's the only fancy tea I've ever been to. It was just the one time. I've been to a, to a, a few. I, I do very much enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of the best pl- things I ever had was they made bread. i a fan of bread pudding. But it was bread pudding with old croissants. Oh. And it was amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Like you take old croissants and add chocolate mm-hmm. and then just mm-hmm. milk cream and then bake and then it. Bake it, yeah. It was pretty freaking epic. Wow. I bet. And what was funny, so it's like a tea shop. So you usually get like the little tea sandwiches uh-huh. and you get your own little pot of tea and right. they have the tea menu and this and that. And everything is small. Right. Like even though you can have as much tea as you want, the the uh, what are the teacups are small, everything's small. The tea sandwiches are tiny. And I saw this on the menu. I'm like, oh, I'll have that. It came out in like a, a trough that could <laughs> feed, feed like the military. It was That's amazing. The one I was thing like, that was huge. Yeah. They're like, oh, well, here you go. And I'm like, oh, no, I just wanted it for me, not for the whole restaurant. And they're like, <laughs> oh, no, this is just the first serving. We'll bring you more later. Don't worry. <laughs> wow. It was very I'm going to go to that place. <laughs> that was the one in Benicia. It was amazing. It's a cool little shop. Well, too. we need to go there. Yeah. Their rose tea. 
out of the world, Ooh. out of this Ooh. world, out of any right. world. All the worlds. Yeah. Wow. Combined. All right. Out of Jew. Hi. All right. What's your number three? Uh, did you do your number three? Mm-hmm. Mine, Mine is, is fresh French bread mm-hmm. with fish food ice cream. That's right. You've yep. mentioned that you've eaten that before, and I don't oh, I understand it, it because I haven't seen that. Right. But warm I... French bread, warm fresh French bread with a Ben and Jerry's fish food ice cream. I'm not even sure I've had fish food ice cream. Oh, hmm. It's amazing. This might have to be a a trip, an adventure. Because it, we have it one of these tastes days. like a, when you eat it together, it's almost like this really weird chocolate croissant kind of feel. And it's, you love that. So. It's chocolate ice cream with fudge fish and caramel <sighs> and a little bit of uh, marshmallow. Huh. And then fresh, warm French bread. It seems like Which is be funny because I, I like sourdough bread a lot, but this is really good with French bread because it's a little sweeter. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, my number two is French bread. Well, there you go. But it's French bread either a couple of different ways. I like it with, um, fresh French bread, which has some butter on it. I actually like cold butter on it. And I also like, um, toasted French bread with, or not toasted, but warm French bread with cream cheese. Remember I told you about that, how I used to get that for lunch sometimes. It was like a dollar 15. That's what I had. And I didn't even realize I liked it, but it was delicious. I was like, wow, that is actually really, really good. And then I've also had, um, at this place I used to work and be a waitress, they served a French bread burger and it was literally just a burger, you know, with like cheese on it, um, served in this, uh, toasted French bread with, uh, sprouts on it, alfalfa sprouts on it instead of lettuce. I'm a fan of the sprouts. And it was so good. I used to get it for dinner all of the time. And I was like, you know... 17 and weighed like 90 pounds. I'm like, I'm going to have this burger and French bread every night for dinner. <laughs> well, I still can, but, um, French bread. Amazing. Perfect. It's a perfect all around perfect meal. You were talking about the cream cheese. When I was a kid, I was about 13. I was 13. My first job was at a wood turning mill. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, um, it was down the, the road from this little corner store. And so at break, go and get a bagel and cream cheese and turkey. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys got the same thing. Well, that's actually where I saw it from because he was one of the older guys. And I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of good. And so he was getting it and he's like, oh, and can I get that, you know, microwaved for 45 seconds? And I was like, okay, cool. And I got mine. And he looks at me and he goes, microwave that bitch. (laughs) And then I never, and because he was like gruffly manly wood turning guy. And I never knew if it was microwave that, comma, bitch, or microwave that bitch, period. So I was, either way, I was like, I'm okay. microwaving it one, of the, right, one way or the other. Absolutely, better get in that microwave, yeah. And it was the most amazing thing I had ever had. It was like everything was warm, and, and I'm like, oh. I used That's to get hilarious. that and a Calistoga. Oh, like a Calistoga, Calistoga ras- yes. raspberry. Raspberry, of course, yeah. raspberry, of course. That, and it was, uh, yeah, but it was so funny when he said, yeah, he looked at me, because, yeah, I was a kid, and he was like all manly gruff guy, and he's like, microwave that bitch and i was like i'm pretty sure he's saying like microwave that bitch right i'm like probably all right fair enough that is funny we were uh we used to listen to i one of the things i had to do was drive a forklift and uh, at 13 yeah and so he fair he enough brought this radio <laughs> and at the time i think it was white snake um Speaking the of here I, here I here I go again was like the big song, you right. know. Here I go again on my own, like a drifter I was born. So uh, we were working. Tony and, Tane. Yeah, and that song <laughs> came on, and I'm driving the forklift, and he turns around, and he's not on the forklift; he's down, you know, on the, on the floor. And uh, he turns around and he goes, "Hey!" And so I stop. All of a sudden, he goes, "I was listening to this song for the longest time. I used to think it went here I go again on my own, like a twister." I walk alone because they have a twister like a tornado. Walks alone because tornadoes are kind of solo, right? And I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. He's like, it's drifter. It's not twister. Then he went back to work. That's all he said. I was like, <laughs> fair that's enough, a, that's man. That's a full he was, work stoppage conversation. Oh, yeah. And he was so like dudesly dude, but he was so nice to me at the same time. He's always like, hey. Can yeah. he yell at you and tell you something nice? Oh, he'd come in and he's like, last night I went into Fairfax and I got liquored and got in a fight and this blah, you know, like a motherfucking do, 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 and went all off. And he's like, yeah. He's like, don't do that. And then you'd leave. I'm like, but words good of wisdom. Chat. Words That's of wisdom. a good chat. <laughs> good for you, man. I, yeah. 
<laughs> come down and he'd be, he's like Friday <laughs> afternoon, like it would be quitting time. He's like coming up to the office. And I'm like, why? I, why? Am I, I guess I'm getting fired. He's like, no, come on up and have a beer. All right. Come up and give me a beer. I was hammered. One beer. Three, two, hammered. I was like, yeah, don't tell your parents. Like, all right. Walk home. Like, do, 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 do. Walk home drunk yeah. in the bushes. It was hilarious. Yeah. That's too funny. All the other guys were like, you can give him, give him a beer. He's like, I can give him everything the fuck I want. Right. I can do what I want. Um, it's turn number two. He drove a truck where he cut the roof off of it so it would be convertible. <laughs> it was awesome. That was cool. I don't know. I think he died. I don't know what happened to him. Obviously. My number two, uh, French toast. Oh, I thought. You used to make me French toast all the time. Yeah. I would still. However. I know. We're on, no, no sugar, no carbs. Yeah. French toast. And I you like to make the cornflake French toast, which when I made it for you. The one time. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. <sighs> Sad times. <laughs> I miss you, French toast. I know. I miss you too. <laughs> French toast. Um, okay. My number one? Yeah. A bagel. But I have numerous. A bagel butt. Bagel butts. Um, numerous bagel favorites. Mm-hmm. Um, I like a cheese bagel, warmed, toasted well, with on. a little bit hold of on. butter. Cheese bagel mean like the dried cheese, like a. a what, an, it's Asiago? called an Asi- Asiago bagel. Okay. Not cheese toasted, inside the bagel. No. Toasted with butter, mm-hmm. delicious, amazingly delicious. Mm-hmm. My second favorite way is a uh, everything bagel toasted in a sandwich, like with every like just like, like you would make a sandwich, a sandwich, but that's the bread. Because <laughs> yeah. at first you made it sound like you toast it, and, and the then bagel put it in the would be the sandwich. That's the yeah. double bread, absolutely. Yeah. Or a um, everything bagel toasted with just um, this. Uh, special avocado schmear I used to make. So for those of you who don't know, I used to own a coffee shop in Portland, Oregon. And we Did used you ever to work make, at a comic shop? I also worked in a comic store. Um, so we used to make our own cream cheese spread. And I used to make a uh, avocado, garlic, and cream cheese, you know, spread for whatever. And so... For bagels? For bagels. And so my favorite was a toasted, fresh, everything bagel with that avocado spread. And it was amazing. Amazing. And, um, we used to get our bagels from this one place that, um, not only some, some people boil, some people, uh, bake, but this one place actually like steam baked and they were by far the best bagels I'd ever had. And anyway, favorite. Cool. So much garlic. That's your number one? That's my number one. My number one, garlic bread. <laughs> That's right. You love garlic bread. Love garlic love bread. Garlic bread. Yeah. yeah. And I also love garlic bread. I like bread. to make spice. So I like to take butter and olive oil mm-hmm. and garlic and crushed chili peppers, saute that. Right. You heat that up together. Yeah. Put it, put it on the bread and then put cheese on top of that. Yeah. Blue cheese. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a low carb, low fat. For sure. High protein diet. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> super healthy. Yeah. We have so, it all the time. There you go. <laughs> That's all I got. Are you going to play us out? Uh, maybe. All right. That is uh, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks number 184. Thank you for listening. Don't be afraid we to email us or tweet at us or uh, give us your favorite five ideas. Or close We would love it if you liked and inside. subscribed to our YouTube channel because we're trying to make that work out. Halos and Heathens. And um, thank you for listening. And well, good night, Neil. I love you, Conrad. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> say, say good night. I'm going to go eat. Oh, that's not the right chord. <laughs> oh. Oh. Darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. <laughs> <laughs>